Okay, we have to create a function that returns a color base. Uh, right now, there is already a function that returns a color base on from 1 to 4. For any different number, it will return the color black. Let's say that we are teachers in a 10 student classroom and we want to randomly assign one color between red, yellow, blue, and green to each student. Only one color per student. So change the function get all student colors so it returns a list of 10 colors with each item in the list representing the color assigned to each student. So let's run this for a second. It's printing none. Okay, but this, this function, according to this, this function get color, this is get color the function that returns a color base on a number. So, so if I comment this out and I comment this out and I say print and I put get color, let me put it closer to the function. Okay, so get color one, two. Let's say the color two. Let me see what. It, oh, my bad. Print. Get me the color number two. There. So if I print it, it will print blue. You is printing blue. Blue, blue, blue. So if I pass three, it will print green. So it's a way. This function is a little tool to given a number returning a color and that's super useful because when you randomize and you want to randomize random colors in computer you never have a way of really randomizing strings or values or objects the only thing you can randomize is a number so we gotta always map it like you have to say okay if we want random colors then we will have to assign a number to each color and then we can randomize the numbers and then from those numbers we get the colors so that's basically what's happening here we have to use get color that is already given to us. And we can say in this function get all student colors. We have to, since they want 10 random colors, we have to say for i because we wanna we wanna look 10 times to get 10 random colors. Because we want we, we, we can get one random color by saying get color. Uh, the color is this one, but we have to first get a, a random no, a random integer between between one and four, between zero and four because that's what we have in get color, right? So we, we're gonna say uh, color number or random color number. It's equal to random dot run int from zero to four right yeah from zero to four and then here we can say get color of random so we have a random color now because we have a color of random color number so we get a random color uh, and a random number and then from there we get the number of that color and we have the color here so if we print it let me print it and show you how it is possible to get random colors and we put them here indented to the left so that they don't belong to this function. They will become from the global scope. So they will execute when I say run. So blue, blue, red, blue, black. You see how it's changing here? Black, blue, okay. So now let's put it inside the scope of the function again by indenting one. And now that we have one random color, we can do it 10 times, basically. That's what we gotta do. We gotta do it ten times because we want ten random colors. So for i in range of ten, then we indent this to the right so that it belongs to the, to the for loop. And then in here we say students array dot append to add the color on the end, right? Color. Now if you run the function, ah well I haven't returned it. Look, I'm gonna run it. It's it's gonna return known because the function is not returning anything so we gotta say at the end return students array because it was modified there it is blue blue yellow green blue green 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 black black so it's totally random 
So you have 10 students, you need to loop 10 times. There it is. Each time you loop, generate a random number between 1 and 4. Yeah, using run int. That's what we just did. Use the get color function to access on this exercise to get the number and print the, the color on, on the console. So, yeah, so we're doing it. Let me see if like this it will work. Yeah, it's perfect.